Hello everyone and welcome back to Saurian. And we are here with Runin who's getting shoved backwards. I was like, why are we getting shoved? I guess that little one wanted to uh wanted to walk where we were standing, but alright. Um Why don't we have a display for anything? There we go. I was a little silly and accidentally hit it, apparently. <laughs> we are good. I thought I had bugged out the game somehow. But yeah, we are here with Runin and his herd. His rather large herd, actually, as you can see. His herd who just managed to take down a Rex all on their own. Now, as good as this seems for Runin, there is still some semblance of shadow here because if we look here, you can see he's very close to age 7, and I'm not sure if that's the same for, um, for Triceratops as it is for, um, as it is for the, uh, the Dakota Raptors, but I'm pretty sure that, uh, age 7 is when a sub-adult becomes an adult. Now, that might not be the end of the world, because as you can see over there, there is a much larger Triceratops. I'm kind of wondering if that is one who needs to start a herd, because he's wandering, he or she is wandering alone. I actually don't know. I'm not, I'm not familiar enough with the Triceratops patterning to tell. So that may not be the end of the world for Runin. He may still be able to head over and see if that Triceratops would like some company. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. We'll have to see what comes of this. I'm not 100% sure what's going to happen. So we'll stick with these guys for the time being. I think Runin's feeling a lot more confident since these guys managed to bring down a Rex together. But uh, yeah, they're all, they're all grunting. <laughs> um, but yeah, he, uh, he's feeling a little bit better about this whole situation, I think. I think he's very, very grateful to not be alone. Now, there is something that some of you guys are telling me, which I do think lines up with what I have uh, been figuring out from this as well. I'm still very much getting used to the herd interface. As you can see, we, of course, have threat, warning, social display, and then that shows us information about our herd. Now, the threat here and the warning button, I do know that these are different, uh, but what you guys are saying is the threat is often more likely to make the other, um, the other animals mad, like the T-Rex. Uh, or if directed at our herd mates, if it if they think we're aiming it at them, is likely to initiate a challenge. Whereas the warning is more meant to indicate something that we don't want to be around, like the like the Rex. Now I was aware that I was using the uh, the threat call. I was attempting to do that to ward off the Rex. That's something that a lot of um a lot of um animals will do is they'll try to make themselves look big and scary so that um, they look less uh, less appetizing, I guess. That's even why, if you think about cats, they puff up and hiss. They're trying to look bigger than they actually are. They're trying to threat, basically threaten whatever's threatening them and uh, not get attacked by it. And so I thought that that was what the threat did, but a lot of you guys are telling me that it's more likely to just actually provoke a further attack. So maybe I was a little bit off on that. I'm still figuring out how it all works. It's been a long time since I played Sorry, and we've only ever played as the Dakota Raptors who don't live in herds. So that's maybe some of what was happening there. I also think the targeting system may be a little bit less straightforward than what I thought. I thought when we target here, if we whatever we put this over would be what gets targeted. But because it doesn't actually let you select a herd mate, I'm guessing it's just anything in that general direction. And so when we threat displayed the Rex, I was I bet we also threat displayed several herd members. And I think that could be. Is this part of our herd? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Um, I think that could be part of the problem we were having earlier on, just from a mechanical standpoint. Again, from a character standpoint, that's actually not too far off for Runin. He's kind of a gruff guy. He's kind of a rough around the edges guy. And uh, yeah, um, it's a little bit, uh, little bit on brand for him to have uh, bumbled his way into frustrating the rest of his herd and getting them to kick him out. Uh, because he's not the most socially adept guy, I think. <laughs> so it worked out for the story, but for those of you guys wondering what was going on mechanically, I'm pretty sure that's what was happening. We're gonna let these guys just chill out for now, though. It seems like so far everything is going fairly well. I don't see any further threats now that we, uh, we killed that one Rex. I don't see what happened to the other Triceratops either, though. He might have moved on. But yeah, we'll let these guys chill out for a bit. 
Man, this whole area really just is a paradise for the Triceratops. All these open fields. It's such a such a good place for them to be able to hang out and to see what's coming, too. You can see a Rex coming from miles off. It's not like deep in the woods where uh, we've had some real trouble with getting jumped on or jumped up on uh, with uh, something that snuck up on us from behind. So it's definitely a lot easier to see what's coming out here, although it does look like dusk is falling again. We will have to sleep. I also did notice Runin has aged up to age seven, so he is, uh, he has not become a full adult yet. I'm guessing that may happen a little bit later on, and, um, where are you going? You're going pretty far from the rest of the herd here. Are you, are you good? Are you good? I guess we'll socialize back. Oh, who is this? I don't know which, which herd mate this is. The rest is pretty far away. Could, we could actually check out. It's a little unwieldy to do. If we look at you, look at her mate. Ah, this is this is like Lycoris, Lycoris, another subadult male. Okay, a lot, a little bit of a younger one by the looks of it here, uh, compared to how big and bulky Runin is. But uh, yeah, this guy's just a little fella. Did it? I don't think it told us how old uh, he is specifically. He's kind of a bold one. <laughs> I, I sense we may have found a, a kindred spirit when it comes to troublemaking, considering that these two are both a little bit, uh, seeming to be a bit on the mischievous side. Runin certainly is, but uh, even this guy here is wandering quite far from the herd. Now, I think we will have to, um, we will probably have to sleep soon, but I feel like these two are, are getting along, uh, along pretty well. Runin may have actually found a friend at last. Is that? That's just your footsteps I'm hearing. All right, let's actually go ahead. We'll sleep through the night and uh, check up on the herd come morning. Oh, morning actually is here, it looks like. Are those, those are just those kind of turkey looking things. We don't have to worry too much about them, I don't think. But I think Runin is finally starting to feel more at ease with, uh, with his herd here. He's not been kicked out. He seems to be in pretty good standing with them so far. They helped defeat an entire Rex. So far, things are things are going well, dare I say it. Although, all too often in, uh, in Runan's story, that has uh, preceded some tragic turn. So I think he's a little, almost a little uneasy of how, um, how well things are, are going here. Looks like there might be another storm moving in. The sky is getting darker. And uh, the herd is a little split up. Some of them are down here. Lycoris is still over here. Uh, a few of our other herd mates have joined us, so we're no longer being the uh, adventurous chaos duo running off into the unknown. Uh, which is probably for the best. <laughs> Definitely seems to be uh, for, for the best here. But yeah, we'll have to see. The last time it stormed like this, the floods got a lot worse, and I think Runin is still not very fond of that idea. He doesn't really like the idea of um, the floods coming back now that he's realized how much of his struggle was due to the rising floodwaters. <gasps> oh, that's a little ominous. The water... If you look at where it is relative to Runin's foot, it is rising. That's not so good. I think we may be in for another flood. Oh, I don't think Runin's too happy about that. Everybody else is headed down here to come and get a drink. We can actually look here. If we look at, well, we can social display as well. I clicked the wrong thing. Are they swimming? Somebody's heading way out in the water. But uh, Lycoris is over here. We can see where he's at. He is... Which one is he? He's one of the ones in the water, is he? I want to see where he is. Yeah, he's the one swimming all the way out there. Oh, buddy, where are you going? I think Arunin is kind of amongst the uh, amongst the herd mates here. He's found a bit of a friend. Uh, someone who could have as easily... <laughs> almost seems like could have as easily been a brother of his. Maybe, who knows? I mean, I guess you never know if he has a little sibling or not. But, oh, they're swimming. This is just not not what Runin really wants. Are you are you good? Yeah, let's turn back around and not um, not be here so deep in the uh, in the water here. But yeah, 
Let's let's keep a lookout up here too. I think especially with all the rain rising again and how ominous that's been for him in the past, Runin is feeling a little bit unsettled and a little worried that this means his story is going to take another turn for the worse. Oh no! Oh my goodness! Did he attack someone? I think he got stomped on and some of the other Triceratops didn't... Like, I think, I think he got stomped, bit one of those two, and then they went after him. Because they are... Oh my goodness. Runin is kind of just watching this go down. I don't know why else they'd be chasing... Look at that little guy go! Oh my goodness. Are we picking a fight with these guys now? They're, I don't, something tells me they're not going to stand much chance. I think they are carnivores, but I don't think they're like... I don't think they would hunt us. This poor little guy, he's going to get taken out. <laughs> Considering we've been able to kill a Rex. Oh, I almost feel bad. I think I think Runin almost feels kind of bad for him. Like, he's never, um, he's never had too much trouble from these guys. Oh. No, oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> they just took him out, I guess. He must have bitten one of them after that. But I think Runin is a little bit concerned because if we look at her social display here, uh, Lycoris is like way out there. I think is he the swimming one? I couldn't even see which one he is. No, he's one of, he's one of the swimming ones, but he's one of the closer swimming ones. He's a little bit worried about his buddy there. He, he doesn't like the water. He doesn't like swimming. It has been, um, it's been a little too long since, uh, or it's been, like, it's, he's, he's spent a little too long doing that. Um, and, uh, having to wade around in the floodwaters, and the floodwaters are indeed rising more quickly than ever. Uh, it started raining even harder for a little bit, and I think... All of it is very much making Runin unsettled. Oh, maybe he was right to to be. Um, yeah, he uh, he is. Uh, he's just spotted a Rex. He's just spotted another Rex. It is definitely incoming. Um, he ran that way because he had a funny feeling, and that funny feeling seems to have been very, very right. What is it going to do? It's just watching us. We're having kind of a face-off with it. I don't know that it likes... Oh, it's coming in. All right. I don't know that it likes the uh, the size of the herd, but it's coming in, so we're going to... We're going to we're gonna take this guy down again. Oh, he's getting shoved in the water. Oh my goodness, just absolutely destroyed by a tide of, <laughs> of Triceratops. Oh, buddy, you picked the wrong fight today. Get him, get him, get him. Oh my goodness. Don't mess with the Triceratops, man. This guy's going to go down too. Yeah, with a herd of this size, these guys aren't even a threat. Runin can't even get a hit in because there's so many of them. Oh my goodness. This guy is just absolutely getting demolished. They're absolutely merciless. Wow. Holy cow. You're about to have a bad day, buddy. Yeah. Oh, and there he goes. We're not even a scratch on us. Oh my goodness. This herd is, herd is too powerful. <laughs> Two Rexes and not a single one has uh, has been able to, to do us harm. How is our reputation? I want to make sure we're not ruining it. It's still neutral. Um, Lycoris, where are you? Oh, he, he was right by the Rex. Oh my goodness. He's one of the ones who uh, helped take it down. I think, I think Runin would... Um, would want to say good job. He's kind of he's taking a bit of a fondness to uh, to Lycoris. I think he kind of sees him as a a bit of a, a bit of a little brother, a bit of um, a bit of someone kind of almost in his charge a bit. Uh, Lycoris seems to look up to him, and I think uh, Runin feels a bit of um, a bit of a desire to protect the little guy, and that includes uh, that includes from the Rexes. Though I don't, I'm not sure he needs too much protecting. Can we just eat this guy? No, we can't. <laughs> I was gonna say the. I'm curious if we can if we can make the physics in this game funny, but no, uh, it does not appear that we can. Oh, oh, 
Oh, you guys. I guess it's time. Oh, no, not when we just made a friend. Oh. Is that Lycoris is all the way up there? Oh. I think Runin knows he may have to leave soon because I believe this is the advancement to adulthood here. Let's, I guess, bid him kind of a farewell and to the rest of the herd as well. But I think he's going to miss his little friend. He, he's pretty confident Lycoris and the others will do just fine, though, considering how they absolutely obliterated that Rex, but... I think Runin has gotten a little too old to remain behind, and it's time for him to perhaps start a herd of his own. And here he is. This is... Oh, that's so heartbreaking. Oh, that's just so heartbreaking, you guys. And there they go. Off without Runin, because they look here, he's now an adult, so I guess it's age eight. And they're gonna move off into the shadows of the woods. I guess we better find somewhere to sleep. But I'm not sure if they'll still be here when he wakes up. Or if any of them were even close to him in age. Hello? Are these? No, this is some of the herd members there. Oh. And they're gone. Oh, Runin, you really are alone again. Just when he thought he'd finally found friends, none of them were old enough to come with him. It doesn't seem like any of them were very close to aging up anyway, so he's gonna be on his own for a while again, I think. But now... I guess we better roam this paradise a little while longer. Oh, even paradise for him hasn't lasted, it seems. Oh, it looks like this is the far end of our little paradise, too. Runin's wandered all along it in search of other Triceratops, but he's found nothing. He found some of these guys, but I don't think they'd have too much interest in welcoming a Triceratops to their ranks. Even if uh, he were to give it his best attempt of being friendly, something tells me that they wouldn't take too kindly to him seeking company. Yeah, they don't seem to care. It does not seem that they really care. And I guess this goes on a little while longer. Maybe we'll explore down this peninsula just a bit more. But we don't want to go so far that we... Um, that we wind up turning around and headed back to the salt marshes. If there's one thing Runin knows, it's that he does not want to go back there again. I think this really is the end of the woods, is that? Those are just some packies. This is the edge of the woods, it looks like. And... Yeah, as far as I can tell, Runin really is alone again. Oh, poor guy. He just found acceptance and he found his herd and then had to move on without them. But there's really not uh, not too much that can be done now except to keep looking. I guess we'll have to try to make his way back the next time and see if he finds any other Triceratops. There was that one, but it, he seems to have vanished long ago. Unfortunately, too, I think this is where we're going to have to leave Runin for now. Uh, we'll have to come back to his story another day and hope that he will once again find some companionship. But for now, we're going to go ahead and end off this episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.